Hi guys. So we're at a, um, we're going to a Yelp family day event for Yelp elites and their family. It's in Plano and we just got here. Um, we're gonna check it out and see how busy, how crowded it is. And if it's too crowded, we're probably gonna leave. But yeah. <laughs> Big jump. Right here. Big jump. Big Brayden, what color is it?
awesome. Oh. So that was a cool little event. Brayden got a little sword. His favorite color, purple and orange. Just kidding, I think his favorite color is green. Let me see your sword. And he got some popcorn too. And then let's see what else we got. Um, some kids club water. Um, Topo Chico. Topo Chico. Topo Chico line. Um, let's see what else. The regular Topo Chico. I don't even know if I'm going to drink this. And some free boba. You can make micheladas out of that. Yeah. Ooh. Actually really good. It's from Sweet Hut. Now we're gonna go to um, this Da Nang Soup House buffet to eat since we're already out in this part of town. Have to bring your sword in, huh? Oh, they, they don't have spring rolls no more. Okay. Let's get some of this. Kind of hard to do this with your left hand. This is actually really crispy. Maybe you can go get it. Kids eat free, I think, under three. Mm -hmm. Regular price for us is $16.99, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. suit they have. Uh, this is my second time here. So yeah, seems like they worked out some kinks. So this is um jackass, kinda like um a fish a fish cake noodle soup. It's, um, if anybody if y'all had boom reels um no actually it's kinda like boom reel but I guess not. 
Um, he's eating the meat one. Something smells really fishy. I think it's this. So fishy. But yeah, this place is alright. It's not like, don't expect much from it. But, I mean, it's, it's edible, I guess. So this fish cake is really um, hard, but it tastes, it's not like just really hard. <laughs> it's hard to like bite into. And the soup, um, it has the flavor, but I wouldn't say it's like um, authentic. Like, like it's probably not something that it will probably taste better at a, a regular restaurant, right? Yeah. Like it tastes okay. Sale. Um, it's not as crispy as it was last time, though. It is. No, it's not. No. Um, Basically, when you bite into it, it tastes like oil seeping out. <laughs> uh, I prefer my mom's bang sale better. Yeah, for of sure. Of course. But um, I guess it's okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna taste, I can feel the oil on my mouth. Yeah. But there's enough, enough meat in there, you know, shrimp and stuff. But, oh. Like you can literally feel the oil in your mouth. Yeah, you really love it. First impression of the pho. Um, it smells like pho. Um, it has... Uh, what is this? Uh, round eye steak, uh, meatball, um, beef tendons, and then you like kind of distress it yourself. But um, let me see what this is. <laughs> Yeah, it has a flow, flow taste to it, I guess. Everything is just okay, basically. Yeah. $14.99, right? $14.99 for adults, uh, free for kids under three. But yeah, don't come in here expecting much. <laughs> just uh, come if you want to try different kind of soup. There's five different kinds, and then bang bell, bang sale. Um, you want more peppers? There's uh, shrimp egg rolls, egg rolls, and then a coconut. This coconut uh, dessert, and then five different um, things. Um, we came during lunch on a Sunday, and surprisingly, there's it's not busy at all. Last time we came, it was busy, but probably because it was a new thing, and then people realized that it's just okay. <laughs> so yeah. Is it yummy? Already on a Sunday, and look how nobody's in here. <laughs> it was it was like packed when it first opened. So I really don't think this place is gonna last because. It's like unless they add more lunch time on a Sunday and it's not busy at all. So unless they like change something or add some more food, they have to add a couple more items. Yeah, they're gonna have to add a couple more items. But their soup is really not like good. It's okay. <clears throat> uh, they raised their price a little bit. It's now fifteen ninety seven for a buffet. Kids three to ten is half price, and then kids under three it's free. Um, but I told Brian, please don't take me here again. Because I really don't even like it. <laughs> yeah. We're in Garland. We're going to go stop by the Vinny supermarket to pick up some stuff from my mom. She really likes um, Nuk Mia sugarcane drinks here. And she likes this um, pastry called Bang Ya Lung. So, yeah. We don't live anywhere near a... Asian market so always have to make a weekend trip out of it <laughs> always 
wearing your tutti? So embarrassing. <laughs> If anybody knows how to get rid of that thing right there, let us know. <laughs> Image stabilization is not here. This is what she loves. Mmm. Let's buy two. Let's get two. Yeah, that's all we need. Where's the shortest line? go get cash out of the ATM machine at Bank of America since um, they only accept cash in here. And my mom really wants the sugar cane drink, so gotta get her what she wants. So yeah, apparently it's the best sugar cane drinks here. So let's go get it. Is this a food court? It has like different kind of food. It's cash only, so if y'all come, bring your cash. It's gonna take forever. That's how sugar cane is made. Sugar cane drink. So basically they just crush sugar cane and I think that's orange together. Peeled sugar cane. Cost ten bucks. I think it's usually seven bucks, but since my mom asked for no ice, it's ten bucks. Waited like thirty minutes for it. <laughs> Places. Did you know that um, sugar cane is a precursor for rum? Did you know that? No, you didn't know that. Uh, they no. use that to make rum. Really? And then you know that uh, in countries that are uh, underdeveloped, the sting is uh, like it's very dangerous to drink. Sugar cane? Yeah, because it can have like disease linked to it. Like, oh. like um, what's that? Uh, <coughs> chiggers? 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 The, those bugs? Yeah. Yeah, it's like in there in like underdeveloped countries. But it's a naturally really sweet. I saw that they, I don't think they put any sugar in there, but they put an orange in there. Too much fun. Fell asleep. He like doesn't nap at home anymore. Like only in car rides that he naps now at home. He just skips his nap, like afternoon nap. Yep. So. <laughs> I don't have a good hour nap. Just swat a fly. Swat a fly. Yo, you what? Yeah. yeah. Monster truck. How many monster truck do you have? Count. Count. What cup? Where's the shark monster truck? Where's the shark monster truck? My sweetie pie. We had that chicken. What chicken? Fried chicken. Are you 
awake? Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Beckham. He's like, Mom, what are you doing? Say hi. Camera shy? Yum. He doesn't spit it out anymore. Yummy. Yummy. Good job, baby. Good job. Good job. Có cái cô nữa gì lấy được để cho nó coi nó. No. Nó Good job. What are you eating? A jackal. Such a mess. Wow, Beckham. Wow. Good job, baby. Yeah, I know, I know. So I wanted to talk about um, his eye, because I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that something is wrong with his right eye. Yeah, so he has this thing called um, ptosis. It's P-T-O-S-I-S. The first time I saw it, I thought it was called ptosis. And then my his pediatrician corrected me and said it was Ptosis. So basically, it's a rare condition <coughs> that um, characterized by lowering precision of the upper eyelids um, that is present at birth. And um, so basically, it has to be treated with surgery. Or, I mean, if the kid has something like a very mild a version of it, it could, um, it doesn't really necessarily go away, but I guess their face grows into it and it looks normal. But um, Beckham's going to have to have surgery for sure. Um, we're going to see a new doctor on Wednesday, um, a new eye doctor Where's on Wednesday. Right? So yeah, we're going to go see a new doctor on Wednesday. His name is Dr. Merritt. He is based in Dallas. Um, I heard that he's very, um, what is it? What's that word for like very poor surgery? Um, he's very, uh, so basically he's quick, like the whole, ah, God, I don't even know the word for it, but basically... Um, I'm hoping that um, it will. He's gonna let uh, Bray, um, Beckham have surgery soon because I think it's delaying his developmental skills. He's six months old, and um, I don't think he's very. Um, he's developing where he should be. Like so, we'll see. He all. He's also going to his pediatrician tomorrow, so we'll see how he is. What what his pediatrician thinks? Yeah. Say hi. So yeah, I'm hoping this new doctor in Dallas is going to be more a little bit more aggressive towards surgery because I think um, it's delaying his developmental skills a little bit. Not too much though. He's still a happy baby and nothing, you know, is wrong. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a little droopy. A little droopy. But he has an eyelid, so that means he's the muscles are still functioning. So say hi. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Videos. Awesome. So I figured, um, since I'm just starting out, I'm just gonna do it on my phone, and then um, oh. 
if it turns into something, then I'll um, switch over to my um, Sony camera. It's kind of easier to edit, like transfer through, uh, transfer to my MacBook and edit with uh, just recording on the phone for now. So yeah, so if you like our daily vlogs, please like and subscribe. So yeah, I'm hoping this new doctor in Dallas is going to be more a little bit more aggressive towards surgery because I think um, it's delaying his developmental skills a little bit. Not too much though, he's still a happy baby and nothing, you know, is wrong. Um, but yeah, as you can see, see, it's a little droopy, a little droopy, but he has an eyelid so that means he's, the muscles are still functioning. So say hi. Yeah. I know. Yeah.